Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lawrence Philip, aka DJ Random, and today we'll be going back to using Serum and we'll be working on some future house lead. To be specific, this is a lead that you can find in a tune from Netsky and Jaws titled Higher. If you're wondering what that sounds like, it's something along this line. If we're going for the specific sound, that would be this one. But like all my other tutorial, as always, we're not going to try to recreate that sound. Instead, that sound is basically just an idea of what we can create. We're not going to create an exact one, but we're just going to try to achieve similar sounding sound. What's more important is not the final end of the sound, but like the process of how we get there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to create this. And then along the way, we're going to try different things. We're going to change things. We're going to try it out, see which one sounds better. And we're going to tr keep trying and trying and trying. So that's just kind of like exploring all the possibility that we can do with Serum. So let's just get started by initializing the sound. Once we initialize the sound, we will get the default from Serum, which is usually just one oscillator, which is oscillator A with your standard saw wave. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to detune this to 7. And then we will try to narrow it down a little bit. And then the next thing is we're going to turn on oscillator B. Let's move this up by one octave. And then we're going to detune this too, but this time we just 5. And then let's turn on the sub oscillator. We go down one octave below and we go with a triangle. So with what we have so far, let's take a listen to it. So that's basically just your standard. Uh, detune saw with the triangle underneath it so and then the next thing that we want to do is we want to switch this to rm from b and then this one goes to sync and then we want to create some modulation here with the lfo so what we have to do is let's go to lfo one and then let's create a shape that looks somewhat like this particular one. That shape is basically something that I already created previously and I save it. So you guys won't find it in this area. But instead you guys should just like remake it. It's pretty easy. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to turn on the filter. Let's bring this all the way down. And then let's sign it to here. Let's bring it up right here a little bit. And it should sound like this. Don't forget to turn on all this. And then let's bring this here. And then let's assign this here again. And then maybe a little bit the resonance let's see what we have now what we want to do is we want to start uh, modulating this oscillator with this oscillator Let's just turn this off because I don't really need to hear that because I'm only going to be using oscillator B to modulate oscillator A. So let's aside this here. Maybe it's something along this line. And then here, we'll put it here. We'll be around this line. And then let's see what we have to so far. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. 
See, that's without the modulation. And then perhaps we can change this a little bit, the envelope for the amp. And then let's go to the effects section. And then let's go with a symmetric. Let's drive it around here. Then let's just move it around here and then let's modulate this around here. See where that takes us. And then let's go with the EQ. Let's boost this a little bit. And then cut the low end. And let's add a little bit of reverb. Let's give it a little bit of a low cut. Let's make the DK slightly smaller. Turn down the volume a little bit. And let's listen to it with the rest of the parts. I think it sounds better without this distortion actually. Let's try to add some compressor here. And let's put it at the end of the chain well right before the reverb. I think that sounds pretty good, actually. So let's go back here and see what we can do. Let's try switching this to FM. Sounds pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go back with the RM and bring it to here. Maybe let's try to add some noise. 
So that's pretty much about it, you know, just uh, you get kind of like an FM-ish sound for the lead, which is pretty popular now with the whole future bass thing. And as you see, while we were doing this, I keep on trying like all a different way of modulating this, maybe using band or maybe using sync. I mean, each one of those different parameter give like a slight different sound to it yeah just try it out guys don't just follow me blindly 100% trying to sound exactly like me but instead just mess around and experiment okay that's about it future house fm lead if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you find this to be helpful please 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 subscribe to my channel and Thank you for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.